Hey, what up, y'all? I am Lou, and uh, it's been a while, man. It's been a while. I actually been extremely busy um, with just with my business, you know, a lot of new projects, you know, expanding, growing, which is good. Um, also, just kind of, uh, my wife just had a baby not that long ago, um, but you know, been four weeks now, so been helping out with baby as well, so been busy with that. Let's just say, getting very, very little sleep. Nevertheless, though, I do enjoy doing YouTube, and, you know, I got to squeeze time into it, right? So, that's what I'm doing now. Going to try to squeeze in much time. I know some of y'all have emailed me, um, even some of the comments that you have put on YouTube. And again, uh, I'm trying to catch up. I've been a little bit behind with everything, uh, especially YouTube related. So if I haven't responded back to you yet, I will be responding back soon, sooner rather than later. But I just been real busy, man, we're like extremely busy with everything. Uh, but I will be making time. So I haven't forgot about y'all. So this is going to be a follow up video from a previous video that I made, which is um, downloads files from SharePoint using Python. So if we take a look at it, it's this guy here. So if um, before I go any further, I would much appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, like this video, follow me. Again, I know I've been kind of slacking a little bit, but um, I do, I am going to be making, I am making time um, to making more YouTube videos. I want to be able to help you all out in any way possible. So I appreciate, you know, the follow and the like, you know, whatever y'all could do to help me out, man, that that's awesome. Um, so it says download files from SharePoint using Python video. So I got, a, I received a lot of, uh, requests of, Hey, you know, the video shows how to download a specific file. Well, what if I want to download all the files, right? From a, from a folder in SharePoint, or what if I want to download um, a specific pattern of files. So let's say you may, maybe you have a folder and it has files in there for sales reps. Maybe in the file name, it says sales reports. Now you have other files that says territory reports or whatever, right? I'm just using an example. Well, may, you may not want to download all. You just want to download sales reports only. Well, I'm going to go through a video kind of showing those two. So we're going to, I already have a video on how to download a specific file from SharePoint, but now I'm going to show you how to download all files from SharePoint. Then how do you download by pattern? Are you looking for a specific pattern? We want to download those files only. So uh, we're not going to start from scratch. We're going to, we're going to actually use the, the source code from that other video. And then we're going to just, you know, enhance it pretty much. Right? So let's go ahead and get started. So this, if y'all have not seen it, seen the video yet, you know, you may not, the source code may be new to you. So recommend, I'm not going to go over detail of what the source code, is, source code is doing. Go and look at the video. You can also download the, um, the source code from, uh, the GitHub account. So you could do that. Uh, before we actually get started, one of the things I'm going to do, let me create an, another branch. Um, so let me create a branch real quick and I'm just going to call this, I'm just going to call it update and I'll put the year. Um, in this case, where, what are we? 2021, 10, 16. All right. So now that I create a new branch, let me just go ahead and change to the branch update 21, 10, 16. Okay. So we're going to make all the changes in this one. So again, the, you could search it by, by branch to see the original source code. And then of course the new source code that we're about to make. Um, so let me go to my config file. One of the changes that I'm doing differently here, um, is I'm going to remove this document, um, parameter that we had, and it's just going to be shared documents. So the reason why is if we go back to the original pass here, I was only specifying the folder because I was already specifying in my config file, the root 
pass of the folder. So kind of give an example. If we take a look at it, see how the folder in it says 2020. So let me go to, this is the SharePoint site. And you could tell I made the 2020 folder, but the root folder is actually YouTube. So instead of kind of putting that into the config file, I'm going to take it out and you could just specify it in your, um, in your, as, as a parameter. And we're going to go through that. It just makes it more dynamic instead of being hard coded in. So that's really the main reason why. So I'm going to remove that piece out the way. The rest will stay the same, right? You're going to replace this with your email, everything, even the curly brackets. Cause I think some of y'all may, may not be replacing the curly brackets. So take away the curly brackets as well and put in your password. Same thing for your domain and then of course your site name. So in my case, my site name is called the level mint, right? There it goes right there. If you're not sure what it is, just look at your URL. You could get, get all your information. Here's my domain and my site name. All right. So, but this is one change. Just remove that piece. That was one of the things that we needed to remove. Now we're going to make some changes here in our SharePoint uh, file. So we're going to start off there first. Um, so let's go ahead and make some of those changes. Uh, let's see. One of the things that we're going to be adding on here is, so see how, see how we have this, we have this create folder, connect folder, then we have a download file. Again, it's very specific. We're downloading one file. So now what we're going to end up doing, we're going to create one that's called a uh, get file list. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to be get files list. Um, in this case, it would be the folder name. So we're going to specify folder name in, in this case. Um, it will be, we're going to, we're going to now, um, connect to our folder instance, uh, folder name, and then we're going to do a return and in this case we are returning files. Okay. So this, this object here, it, it's part of the share plump class which would be under this folder uh, class. And then this is one of the objects. Ultimately, just gives us back a list of all the files. That's what it's doing here, right? So that's number one. Just by providing the file name, we're going to get back a list of files in a um, JSON format. So just FYI, that's, that's, how, that's the format that we're going to get it in. The next function that we're going to create, we're going to call it download files, right? Not file, but files, because we're going to download multiple files. That's what we're trying to do here. Same thing. We're only, we're only going to pass in the folder name, you know, cause again, we're downloading multiple files. There don't need to, to provide a file name in this case. Um, in this case, what we're going to end up doing is let's call this files list and we're going to end up calling the get files function. Um, get files function and we're going to provide the folder name. And then of course we're going to return this object back. So what we did here is we created two functions. Uh, download files and a get files list. Now this get files list is never really going to be, uh, and I probably should have, this is what I should have done. It's not going to be called outside of this, uh, class. It's something that you're going to be called within the class only. So, but the, the, the function that we're actually going to call in our, in our project file is going to be the download files which again would ultimately is ends up calling this get files list object over here to get, to return that back. Um, I'm trying to think 
So this is it. These are the only two things that we're changing. Again, you could tell over here on the side, this is the only thing that we added. So from the original project that we had, we just added these two new functions um, to our SharePoint class. And that's it, dude. We're done with this. So next, we are going to, we're pretty much going to scrap all of this. There's a few things that we're going to do slightly different. Again, when I did this, it was just more than an example. We're going to kind of build it out in a better way, but we're also going to add that functionality to, again, download a file, multiple files, or a pattern of files. So that's kind of what we're going to deal with. So let's see. So some one of the two things that we're going to end up importing is going to be our regular expressions um, package. If you're not familiar with the regular expressions, go take, you know, just Google it, kind of get familiar with it. You don't have to be an expert at it, but it's very powerful. Uh, so I recommend, you know, getting familiar with it. At least the basics of it, right? And then we're going to bring in our system package. All right, so all of this here that we kind of hard coded in in here, we're going to get rid of. We don't want. What we're going to end up doing is we're going to replace it with these arguments. All right. <sighs> Let me drink some water. Man, my throat is getting, getting very raspy. I live in Texas and man, at the pollen's pretty bad. And my allergies have been kicking my ass the last couple of days and <clears throat> my throat is kind of raspy, especially now that I'm, I guess, talking a lot. But either way, let's get let's get going. So what we're doing here is um, we, we have a few arguments. Uh, we have a total of four argu arguments that we're passing in. We got a, a folder name. Um, we have a folder destination. We have a file name and then a file name pattern. So those are the arguments when that we're going to end up passing in whenever, um, whenever we run our Python file on, on the terminal. So again, if, if you're not familiar with system arguments, uh, I could make a video and be more than happy. It's really not that complicated, but ultimately think of it as passing in parameters when you run your Python file. So whenever you do your Python, then you put, in this case, project.py, like to run the file. And then in the terminal, you could pass in arguments as well. And that's what we're doing here. You know, um, one, two, three, and four. Now, it, our, the arguments actually start on zero, and that's for something else. Um, that that is already being utilized by default. So we got to start on the next the next um, argument, which is again, one, two, three, and four. So that's kind of what we're doing here. So let's see. So next, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to create uh, four functions here, right? So let's, the first one, it's going to be called get file. And in this case, we're going to provide file name and folder name. All right. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, file name, folder name. Let me just, let me just, let's just get them, get them all created real quick. So that's number one. The other, the second one is going to be get files. And this would be folder name only. Um, yeah, no, that's not right. So this will be, uh, let's see. This would be folder, folder name. Let me just call it folder. All right. Uh, the third one would be get files by pattern. So in this case, we're going to provide the pattern and then the, the folder. Oops. Um, and the last one is going to be save file, the save file. We're going to provide the file name and then the file object that we need to pass in again. When we save it, we're getting an object 
and so we're gonna end up saving that object and then of course the the file we're gonna provide a file name whether it be the original file name that's in SharePoint or you create a change it to another file name but either way that's what we're doing here um, this is for the save so let's do the save first save um, function first so in this case we're gonna be doing a file directory pass um, and we're gonna provide the folder destination and then the file name because that's what we're passing in right so the file name is, is a parameter that's passed being passed in um, Hmm, let's see, that's not what I wanted. So let me call this, I don't want these to overlap. Um, that's fine, you know what, that is, let me change it, I don't like that. Um, call it file in for name. All right, that's fine. Um, okay, so we're, again, our, whatever our folder destination is, then of course, whatever the file name is going to be, which is based on what we pass in. So just kind of going back on why I changed it. Even if I don't change it, it's still fine. I just hate having objects that are being created, like in advance here, and then also the same file name being utilized inside the way the scoping works, again, just like kind of in JavaScript and other ones, this would actually override this anyways. So that's what not an issue. I just hate having the same file, the same names. I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm just not a big fan of it. That just me, I guess. So let's see. So next we're going to do a with open which is the um, file object. Um, not the file object, what am I doing? This would end up being, my bad, the file pass. And this would be a write binary as F for file. Then we're gonna do write. We're gonna write the object because that's what's actually going to get saved right in the file is going to be the actual object. And then we're going to do a, um, a close. We're going to close it out. So we're specifying the pass, which the pass contains the, again, the, the folder and the file name, you know, together. And then we're going to actually write whatever object it is, right? Like if it's a PDF or an Excel or a word, whatever it is, whatever that object is, we're going to write that data to that file. Now we're going to close it. So that's pretty much what we're doing here, right? Um, so next, let's do the first piece, get file, you know, right? We're passing in a file name and a folder. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's call it file object um, equals SharePoint download file by file name and folder. Yep. And then once we get that object back, what we're going to do, we're going to call that save file function that we created. Um, we're going to pass in the file name and then the file object. And ultimately it's going to save because that's what this is doing. It's going to provide a destination, save it and so on. Boom. Done deal. So now we're going to do the get files, right? So we want to get mini files. So the first thing we're going to do here is files list. This will be SharePoint download files, right? Not file, but files because, and that only requires the folder to be passed in, which is what we got here, the folder uh, the folder name. Um, 
yes. And then what we're going to do here, we're going to do a uh, for loop. So it's going to be file in file the list. And then from here, what we're actually going to do is hold on. Why is this not registering? Uh, let me try to think. Hmm. What's happening here? Oh, I got it. I just, it's just because of uh, this runs first and that either way. It's let me just move to the front. It, it shouldn't be an issue, but let me just move to the front. All right. So under our get files, we're getting our list Then we're going to do an iteration, right? Then once then what we're going to do next is going to be, we could call the get file function on top and we're going to pass in the file, the file name. So just FYI, this list that we get back. It's a, um, and I, I do, I could do a print statement so we can take a look at it. It's a JSON object that we're getting back. So we're ultimately, we're going to iterate over that list. Uh, there's a list inside. We're going to iterate through that. And then inside there, we're going to get there. There's a, there's a, a key value called name, which is the file name. And that's what we're getting back out. So that's why you see me calling this file and the name in it. Cause we're going to retrieve that file name. All right, and then uh, let's see. Then I need to specify the folder. That's what it is. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm saying down download all get the list of all files in this one folder right once i do that i'm saying all right let's iterate over that list one by one and i iterate over that list one by one then i'm gonna call the um all right let's i'm gonna call this function which requires a folder then a file name so i got a file name in a folder right it's kind of what what i'm doing here and this should ultimately run this, which is going to be download that one file and then save it. That's what it should do. Um, the last function is going to be get filed by pattern. All right. So what we're going to do here is this one's going to be very similar to the get files. So let's go ahead and copy this guy. where we got a folder again, we're going to download all the files, which is what we're doing here. The difference is we're going to now use our regular expressions to say search by pattern, which in this case would be called a file name pattern. And then we're going to search uh, the file name. So again, if you have a file name that's called sales reports and the pattern is the word sales, if it, if it has a match, then ultimately what it's going to do, it's going to run this function, which is the get files, get file, my bad, not files, but file function, which is again, is going to provide the file name and then the folder. And by doing so, it should go, it should be able to go ahead and save the file as well. You know, get that object in return then save the file. Um, okay. So I'm thinking that's it here. I'm going to delete all of this. We don't need this. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add just some conditioning logic down here. So I'm going to call it if file name. Is none is not none then we want to run the get 
files function which is going to require us to provide a file name and a folder name which is again part of these two arguments up here all right uh, the next one is is file um, name pattern is not none we're gonna get the get filed by pattern and our argument here is hold up I just realized I'm not using the right pattern I need to that's fine yep all right so then I'm gonna say get files by file name pattern um, and folder name yep folder name then it, the last one will be else get files again files being get everything and I'm gonna provide the folder name for that parameter um so I think this solves for everything so we have a function to save the file we have a function to get one file only we have another function to get multi uh, get all the files from one folder and then we have another function to get files by a pattern again specific pattern so I think that's it guys so the only thing I need to do on my side here is on my config file I'm gonna put in my information so again I'm not gonna show it so let me not share that screen real quick let me put that in once I put that information in, then um, I could run it on my side okay so now that I have that information in there what we're gonna do now is let's see okay so what I'm going to do I think I have a folder in my download folder that I could put that in let's see let me find it real quick yep it, this guy and I'll show you in a minute so run project right this is my project file um, the first argument is folder name so in order to determine which folder name I'm going to provide let me go to my SharePoint site in this case it's going to be YouTube 2020 all right so that's my folder name yeah YouTube 2020 so I'm gonna do YouTube forward slash 2020 all right I'm gonna put a space my second argument is going to be the destination so like where do I want to put my files into you don't most likely you're not gonna want your file to drop into the same folder of your project that is not realistic you want to put them somewhere so in my case again double quotes put the file the folder that you wanted to go to then you know close it out all right so that's my second argument my third one is gonna be file name so let's say for now I don't want to get all the files like I don't want to get I don't want to get one specific file I want to get all the files so I'm just gonna type the word none because we have logic down here that says if none you know if not none then run that so I just put none for now then the last one is pattern if I want to find something by pattern for now I'm gonna say none because I don't want to download by pattern I do want to download all the files so if we take a look at SharePoint we have two files in here right two files um, and I'm gonna look at the folder this is the folder that the file should flow into okay so all the file that we download should come in here so let's go ahead and run it and see if it works cross fingers 
Damn it, it didn't work. Let's see what happened. Um, there you go. See, I put my forward slash already. So I don't need to do that. So what I'm going to have to do here is remove this and just leave it blank, just like that. So now let's try again. Uh, before I try, let me open up the folder as well. All right, so now let's try. Boom, there it goes, two files. So as you could tell, we downloaded loaded both files that existed in, you know, in SharePoint. So, which is good. It did what we wanted to do, right? We wanted to download all the files. That's exactly what it did. We just provided the directory pass. Again, in my case, it's YouTube 2020. If I go to my SharePoint, YouTube 2020, that's what you would have to provide. Okay, so now let's, let me delete this. And we're gonna do it by file. Not by pattern, but by file. So let's say if I wanna look for, I have a file, I think it was called sample PDF. Now let's try that. Let's see what we get. Should only get one file. I did not get one file. Let me make sure the right argument. Let's go to project file name with argument three. I think I know what happened. I put double quotes, but I don't think it needs double quotes for this. Um, yeah, that shouldn't matter. So what, let me make sure, man, did I, that is a name. I did spell it right, right? Yeah, I spelled it right. That's not wrong. Um, sample PDF, sample PDF. That's odd, odd. Some of that gets, all right, so something's, uh, let me go back to my project. What are we doing here? So when we're doing a get file, we got to provide a file name. And then a folder. Let me look, let's look at this side by side. So file name, get file, yep, folder, yep, that looks fine. Download file. Should be executing this inside and get file. Just want to make sure. Yep, inside get file, so it is in, it is running. I'm trying to, it almost feels like, hmm. So it is running this. It should be getting the object back by file name. Um, folder, that's fine. And then we're gonna save a file name then by object. This is not an issue because it saved all the other ones that we had before. So this is not an issue. It has to be somewhere, somewhat with this, but well, what the hell? Um. I kind of see what it's doing in the URL. See what's the document sample PDF sample PDF. So I'm trying to think why is it? Am I passing in? Oh, uh, that it? I pass in file name twice. What the hell, man? It should have been folder. There you go. That's a. Uh, that's a. That'll. That's what I get. Damn it. Okay. Yep. All right. Let me put it back. It should be good. Now it should be good. At least we figured out what the issue was. It was just me typing in the wrong name for my, um, parameter. So let's, let's run it again. And now we should get a, there it goes. Boom. Sample file. Let me run it again since I know we didn't see it, but so now it should only download that one file and there you go. We got that one file. So the next, 
the next test is going to be well let's download something with a pattern right so i have these files in let me grab a few of these files and i'm going to upload it and these all have a specific pattern this rts pattern right there's other patterns i guess 2021 if you want to do it by year just by the five the rts i'm going to do rts in, in my case so let me go ahead and delete this guy so now what we're going to do is for the file name it's going to be none and then for the pattern it's going to be rts because that's the pattern right the file name so now let's run let's see what we get um there you go see it's downloading all the rts files only and there you go so we pretty much ran through these examples and you could tell all three of them work file per file all files or by pattern of a file like a file name so either way it works so now the code base that we have um it's driven through arguments as you could tell you know you would have to specify here which uh sharepoint pass you want to go into which folder you want to save the files into if the third argument is are you downloading a specific file and if you are provide the file name if you're not then put in the word none and then the fourth argument is pattern if you're downloading by pattern put the pattern name whatever that is if you're not if you're going to download all files just make sure to type in none and it'll just download all the files so now you kind of control it to the to the terminal of how you want you know how you want to download your files the reason why i decided to do it this way for this this um example a i wanted to show you something a little bit different from using the arguments to kind of drive what action to take b now if you really are scheduling something where you're like hey i need these files uh downloaded every day uh for example um like some kind of schedule you could use a task scheduler like uh, what's in windows right there's it's a task scheduler you could just create a task and by doing so this is a whole different video if i mean i could create a video over this if you want but it's it's really not to um uh, it's pretty straightforward but ultimately you create a uh, you provide the the python um interpreter your python.exe if you're using a virtual environment you got to provide the one that belongs to that virtual environment then ultimately you're passing your arguments the arguments here would be what what i had right which was what you youtube 2020 then it will be your your seed you know download you know whatever the file pass is and then of course it would be like none none or whatever it is right you would provide all of that in there save it schedule it to run every day every week whatever it is then of course you could just have it run when, when you want it to run um i i for for my company we use this tool called visual crones it's a a souped up version of this like task schedule very straightforward Visual Chrome pretty much does this and way, way much more. Um, you know, I could connect to databases, call procedures, different steps, like create, you know, execute this procedure or do X, Y, or Z, or um, I have, you know, uh, call command lines um, to run certain code or, or commands. Um, you know ftp sftp the list goes on and on of all kind of stuff you could do with it so that's kind of what we use in our, for my company to uh, schedule and automate jobs if you want if you're interested i'd be more than happy to show you all that tool but um yeah again for something basic you're using windows easily use this create that in there and man you're good to go um I'm going to push this code over to uh, the GitHub account. So again, you're more than uh, I am Lou Cody. More than welcome. Go in there. You'll see a new branch in there, which is this update 2021 1016. You can look at that source code um, with the new changes. 
I, I hope this helps out, man. I mean, I know I got requests for, hey, how do we download all files or how do we download files for patterns? So I'm, a ho I'm really hoping that this video, you know, answer these questions to you and anybody that's new, you're trying to figure out how to do something that now there's a code base you just go ahead and download and start using it right off the bat. And I'm hope hopefully helps out, helps you out. Um, again, man, I know I've been stacking a little bit on my making more content the way I like. I know I've been super busy with my business and having a new baby and all that stuff, but I do plan on making some more videos. Um, send me your email, send me your message, man, follow me, any, whatever y'all can give me a thumbs up. And that's all I ask, man. That's the only thing I ask. I'm not, I'm not asking any kind of donations or money or nothing. I'm doing very well. My business is doing well. That's not what I'm, what I'm seeking from none of y'all. Only thing I'm, I would appreciate is a thumbs up and a follow and man, I am good with that. Um, let me know what y'all think. Let me know if there's other videos you want me to make. Um, and I'd be more than happy when I got the time to squeeze it in. I do plan on making some more videos. Again, hopefully this helps. And y'all have a great day, man. Peace.